Unofficial results from Sunday's presidential elections in Senegal indicate that opposition figure Basiru Diomaye Faye has taken the lead, sparking celebrations among his supporters in the streets of the capital Dakar. There is optimism that the incoming administration will tackle the persistent issues of poverty and corruption. Former Prime Minister Amadou Ba, the candidate representing the governing coalition, conceded defeat to Faye on Monday, shortly after expressing readiness for a potential runoff vote. A candidate must secure over 50% of the votes to avoid a runoff. Details about the election results are yet to be disclosed as vote tabulation is still ongoing. Official results are anticipated to be declared in the upcoming days. Faye has emerged as a central figure in Senegalese politics, notably after his recent release from prison alongside his influential mentor, Ousmane Sonko. Sonko was disqualified from the election due to a defamation conviction. Aged 44, Faye contested the elections as an independent following the dissolution of his Patriots of Senegal, PASTEF party in July, which had been founded by Sonko in 2014. Despite challenges, the PASTEF party endorsed Faye's candidacy. Faye, a left-wing populist, has been vocal in his criticism of President Macky Sall's administration, accusing it of corruption and inadequately addressing poverty. The decision to postpone the elections, initially slated for February, triggered further political turmoil. The elections proceeded following intervention by the Constitutional Court. Born in 1980 in Diaganiao, West Central Senegal, Faye crossed paths with Sonko while working as a tax inspector. Their collaboration in forming a union marked the beginning of their political journey. In April 2023, Faye was detained on charges related to spreading false information, contempt of court, and defamation. Sonko faced multiple charges in July 2023, including allegations of provoking insurrection and conspiring with terrorist groups. Both Faye and Sonko were released shortly before the election on March 14, following the enactment of an amnesty law earlier that month. Faye, a former tax inspector, has pledged to combat corruption, restore stability, and prioritise economic autonomy, appealing particularly to the urban youth grappling with high unemployment rates in Senegal, where 60% of the population is under 25. He advocates for the abandonment of the CFA franc, a currency inherited from the colonial era and pegged to the euro, in favour of introducing a new currency. Additionally, he aims to renegotiate mining and hydrocarbon contracts, with the country set to commence hydrocarbon production this year. The foremost challenge for the incoming leader will be tackling the unemployment rate, which stands at over 20%. Nineteen candidates vied to succeed outgoing President Saal, who has been in power since 2012. Saal's second term was marked by political unrest, stemming from the prosecution of Sonko. Second-place contender Amadou Ba enjoyed the backing of President Saal, and his victory would have signalled continuity with the previous government's policies.